Hi, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of Learning AI with GitHub Copilot. I'm Carlotta Castelluccio, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, and today I'm going to show you how GitHub Copilot can help you get started with Python and build a machine learning model from scratch with a custom data set. We have seen in the previous episode how GitHub Copilot can be helpful to answer specific questions about machine learning fundamentals. Now let's see if you can rely on it also to write the code of a simple demo. Now for this demo, I will be using a very cute data set, which is the Palmer Penguins data set, storing data collected by scientists about different species of penguins. It is very popular in the data science domain and widely used to get started building classification model. And starting from this data set, we want to build a classification model able to predict which species a penguin belongs to starting from a series of features. Great. Now let's start building our machine learning demo into Jupyter Notebook in Visual Studio Code again. As I said, I'd like to use the Penguin's data set. So first thing first, we need to load the data set into a data frame. And I've already done it in my first cell here. So I will just execute this. As you can see, I'm loading from a URL our data set. I'm storing it into a Pandas data frame. Now, what's a data frame? The data frame is a uh, the bidimensional data structure similar to a table with rows and columns. And one of the most common Python libraries to handle such type of structure is indeed Pandas. So that's why I'm importing Pandas and I'm using this, this library. Now, now let's go to, the to, the, um, uh, to our first uh, GitHub Copilot prompt, which we will be using to print the first five rows of the data set and to have a look to explore our data a little bit. So you can see that once I get once I click on enter, I start get the suggestion from GitHub Copilot, which is exactly the function I need to print the first five rows of my data set. And let's look at our at our data. We have a data frame with five columns here. Four of them are physical characteristic of the penguins, and the fifth is the species uh, at which each sample belongs to. So starting from this data set, we say that we want to train a model to learn to predict the penguin species. Now, before jumping to this, it's always useful to do some exploratory data analysis using data visualization. For example, it's useful to understand the distribution of the samples in the original data set with respect to our label. One of the most popular Python libraries for data visualization is called matplotlib, while one easy way to explore distribution is using bar plots. So the next prompt will be um, to copilot, let's visualize the distribution of the penguin species with a bar plot uh, using a matplotlib. So the first suggestion of copilot is of course to import the library we need and then uh, basically, we have uh, the comments to create the bar plot using the species column and counting the number of samples for each species and then showing the plot. So let's see the result. Let's see the output. Great. The output is this wonderful bar plot. And what we can say from this bar plot, we can say that we have three species and the three species are encoded with three numerical values, which are zero, one, and two. And we can also see that the data is a little bit skewed because we have more samples in category zero and one than in category two. Great. Now let's do one step ahead. Another thing you might want to explore in your data set before building a model is the relationship between the features and the labels. Now, we have four potential numerical features in this data set. However, for the sake of the next visualization, let's just uh, consider a smaller subset. Let's pick three of them, uh, which will be a flipper length, Kuhlman length, and Kuhlman depth. And let's build Let's build uh, three box plots to explore indeed the relationship between these uh, features and the, the label using another library, which is built upon matplotlib, which is called Seaborn. So let's click on enter and let's start getting the suggestion, which are importing Seaborn and then creating the first box plot, 
which is which has x on uh, on the x axis the species and on the y axis the first feature which is flipper length and then we will be doing the same i guess yes we are doing the same also for cumul length and cumul depth so let's see the output, which is generated by this code produced by GitHub Copilot. And then let's explore those three uh, box plots. Great. So the code from GitHub Copilot has generated, as expected, three box plots. And from these, we can, uh, for example, observe how uh, for the Kuhlman length, um, species one and two have similar uh, range of values, while um, the species, uh, the samples um, belonging to species zero have a, a little bit different uh, ranges of values. And we can do similar analysis also for flipper length and for other, other features. So this kind of visualization really help us know our data before um, passing to the uh, machine learning modeling uh, process. Great. Um, Okay, now that we have explored a little bit of data using some data visualization, the next step is preparing them for building the model. And this includes handle missing values. Uh, that means the data for which at least one property is not available. So let's start checking if there are any missing value in the data set. So the prompt will be show rows with missing values here. And let's see if um, GitHub Copilot code can really uh, check this for us. Yes, the output is two rows in which we have the not available uh, values. Um, now, there are different ways to handle not available values in machine learning. You can try to impute numerical values using the mean or the median, for example. However, in this case, the number of missing values is very low with respect to the whole data set. And those rows also have more um, more of one column values as null. So in this case, we can simply drop them and bring pretty sure that we are not removing significant information from the data. So the next step will be drop rows with missing values. Using, uh, so GitHub Copilot is suggesting us to use the drop NA function that does this work for us. Great. Another key step to prepare data for training is defining what are the columns we are going to use as features to train our model and which one we'll be using as label. In the previous example, we have defined what, what is a feature and what is a label. So let's now see into practice how we can split the data set into features and labels, and then also how to split the data into training and test sets using Python. So our features, in the prompt, we are specifying that our features should be three, Kuhlman length, Kuhlman depth, and flipper length, while the label will be the species column. So as I, uh, as I click Enter, you see that Copilot is suggesting me uh, the syntax to define my features and my labels. So I can go ahead and, and I can execute also this code. And the next piece uh, we, have, we have said that will be splitting the data into training and test set in a way to have 30% um, of the data for set, set testing, sorry. So we are reserving 30% of the data for testing. So GitHub Copilot is suggesting us to, first of all, importing uh, the train test split library from scikit-learn and then it is suggesting the code to do exactly this job for us. So splitting the um, splitting the original data set into four sub data set, X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. That's great. Let's just execute this code. And we will have the four um, sub data set we need. Perfect. So we have prepared our data. Um, we are ready to train our model, our classification model. And one of the easiest models to start building a classification model is a logistic regression model. So that's why in the next prompt we have, let's train a logistic regression model. We are going to create a multi-class logistic regression model because this is um, a problem which we have more than, more than two uh, possible species. So let's see how 
Copilot suggests us to um, create a logistic regression model in Python using scikit-learn. So as you can see, this is the code to create the logistic regression model. And now let's train it. So GitHub Copilot is suggesting us to train the model using the fit function. That looks that looks great. That looks uh, accurate. So and and the output is uh, is good as well. So the training was successful. The very last piece that we also have seen in the in the introductory um, in the introduction um, is that. We also need, after training, we also need to evaluate the performances of the model uh, to understand how well this model is performing. Um, and to evaluate, we basically do two steps. We first predict the labels of the test set and then calculate the accuracy of the model. So let's click Enter to, um, to have um, the, um, the suggestion from GitHub Copilot. So the first, uh, the first step we have seen is predict the labels of the test set. So you see how Co GitHub Copilot is giving me the code to do that. And the second piece will be calculate the accuracy of the model. So we need to import another library and then compute the accuracy using the accuracy score function. Let's execute the last piece and let's also see the resulting accuracy here. Cool. So the resulting accuracy is 0 0.99. It's very high. Uh, do not expect to have this kind of accuracy in any of, of the real world problem. Um, the reason to explain why we have a so high accuracy is that the data set is an academic data set. It has been post-processed and cleaned quite a lot to make it easy to beginners to get started with data science tasks. And the data set is also quite skewed, so accuracy might not be the best metric to evaluate model performances. However, for the sake of this demo, since this, this is just our first Jupyter Notebooks, our first machine learning demo um, that we built co with Copilot, I think that's enough to grasp the fundamentals concept and to have an idea of how helpful our pay programmer is in our learning journey. Um, so, for this episode, uh, we I, I want to conclude for this episode. Um, we just uh, learned how to build our first machine learning demo with the help of GitHub Copilot. Uh, we have used Scikit-Learn, we have used Pandas, we have used all the common libraries for data science in, in Python. Um, and in the, in the next episode, we'll be exploring more advanced scenarios in which we are going to create a um, deep learning model. Uh, and Gustavo will guide you in, this, in, the, in, the, in the rest of the learning journey. So stay tuned and see you at the next episode.